Hey, coming to you with the fifth excerpt reading out of the epilogue, final chapter of Christianity the way Jesus lived it, and the subtitle uh, in the epilogue or the title of this excerpt reading is Man Up, Man Up. In the Old Testament, there were hints hidden, meaning New Testament realities, for all to find that proved that God was not the author of destruction. One such example is in Psalms 115, verse 16, that says, quote, The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's, but the earth he has given to the sons of men. End of quote. The Hebrew root word for sons in that verse means to build, rebuild, establish, to make, to make to continue, to build a house, or to build a family. Sonship in the kingdom of God is the level of maturity where the father can give the keys to his kingdom or his business to his son and not have to watch over his shoulder. In other words, a kingdom son carries on his father's business the way the father has established it. And in the same way, Jesus, the only begotten son of the father, fulfilled it. Do you see this? God gave the earth to man forever. From the first Adam until the last Adam, who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and now his body, which is his church, God has linked himself to man in the restoration of all things. Jesus said that he came to seek and to save, meaning to restore, deliver, make complete, and to make whole that which was lost. His body, through the power of the Holy Spirit, is to carry on this mission. What is the mission? It's the restoration of all things. There is no way God is going to send Jesus back to snatch us away when he has commissioned or commanded us to restore all things. He never left his planet to the prince of darkness. He left his planet to the sons of men, who through blood are related to the son of man. The problem is there are other sons who are contending for the same planet. The sons of the evil one do not quit. The struggle is real. Isaiah used this same phrase, quote, sons of men, end of quote, to describe the magnitude of what Jesus endured at the hands of sinful man. Quote, just as many were astonished at you, so his visage was marred more than any man and his form more than the sons of men, end of quote. Do you see the redundancy in what Isaiah saw eight centuries before Christ's passion? Visage was marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. Visage and form, although different Hebrew words, mean basically the same thing. Why would Isaiah repeat what Christ would look like? God always reiterates important truths. Jesus would often say, verily, verily, or truly, truly. Jesus was not just made the exception. He is the exception. He will he willingly allowed himself to become what he became before and on the cross so that you and I and every other, quote, sons of men, end of quote, could be made completely whole in this life. It is time to man up. Seriously, it is time to man up. We need to quit looking for our rescue. We need to man up, stand up, step up, and step into our God-given responsibilities as the stewards of of his property. We need to quit looking up for Jesus to come rescue us. What if our salvation is drawing near means the full measure of our maturity is coming closer and the responsibility that is associated with it is upon us now. We are the rescuers. End of excerpt reading of Man Up out of the epilogue of Christianity, the way Jesus lived it. And again, the link to bookbaby.com uh, to my profile page where then you, you can then find your way to the uh, individual pages of all my books uh, will be in the description as usual. And thank you to the 109 people who have subscribed to the channel. Have a goal of a thousand so that I can, uh, when I feel led to do it, do some live streaming uh, on my channel. And uh, thank you to everybody who has liked, commented, and shared. If you've not yet done any or all of those things, please do. It really helps the growth of the channel.
Thank you. God bless and peace in.